This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 5. Chicago's spring-like February could be the warmest on record. Across the city, people are taking advantage and getting outside. WGN's Mike Lowe reports that for some, the warmth was reason enough to dance in the streets. A kind of day where the entire city seemed to smile. The morale's like really big in the city right now. Judging by the number of people carrying their coats. Oh, I took off uh, a layer, took off one top. Instead of wearing them. I was wearing my jacket and then I was got about halfway here. The question was, will you still need me when it's 64? And I was like, I don't even need this. <laughs> the sun glistened off the skyscrapers and Lake Michigan almost looked tropical. Here it is, February, blue sky, amazing water. I feel like I'm in the Caribbean. Downtown, they traded suits for shorts. But at the corner of Wacker Drive and Michigan Avenue, the warm weather was keeping street performer Quindon King on his toes. This is not a day that you need gloves at 64 degrees, but you need this one. You need this, you need that sparkly glove. This unseasonable stretch is shaping up to be Chicago's warmest February in 150 years. It's kind of nice to see so many people out. The city's like better when a lot of people are out outside doing a lot of things. The area reached 60 on the thermometer more than five weeks earlier than it did last year. Oh yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this. City crews used the day to do a little early spring cleaning as confused flower buds poke through the soil. Everybody's out. Everybody's riding their bikes. Everybody's walking. Looks like everyone's having a good time. And at parks, children climbed along with the mercury. Talking about maybe playing a round of golf. So it's like, I've never had that conversation before. The warm weather had some Chicagoans concerned about the climate. There is a um, uh, global warming, because this is not usual really. But for one day, on one corner, they were saying about this weather, you can't beat it. I'm just glad it's not cold, because <laughs> this would be very hard if it was cold outside. In the Loop, Mike Lowe, WGN News.